Okay, so option one, I'm gonna pull him forward, look to get the lapel, open it up. Look at, like when I'm doing this pass, guys, I'm bringing my knees forward, and then I can get the control, right? I hug his head, foot to the hip, turn and bite, arm bar. Okay, and that's option one. Let's turn this way. Okay. Option one. Option two, I look to break him down. I pass the lapel. Feed. I go thumb in, hip to hip, elbow over, cross choke, and finish. Okay, so again, tug around the head, pass the lapel, thumb in, hip to hip, and choke. Okay? Third option, I pass the lapel around his head, calm up grip. He's gonna hand fight with me here when I go to when I go to cross choke. I'm gonna grab his sleeve, I get out of the way of the arm, and I sit up and I finish the Bravo choke. Pass here. This is where he starts hand fighting with me. Right? Grab that lapel. Use your legs here. And it's like it's like a slingshot motion. Right? And now I can I put my chest behind his triceps and pull on that lapel and finish the choke, okay? Now, from here is where we get into option four, right? So, I pass the lapel, boom, he hand fights with me, I pass it, right, and uh, I'm unable to finish the choke right here. So I'm gonna release, grab the armpit, hook, anchor onto the hip, option one, take the arm, knee over the head, I can grab the pants right here, make them roll, or just finish it from belly down, and finish the arm lock. Again. Pass. Release, grab the armpit, lift your hand. Knee down. I can finish here. Or I force him to roll by grabbing the pants. Foot comes over the head. And arm lock. Okay, and then finally. From the closed guard. Hug around the head, pass, grab the arm, sit up, anchor in the armpit. Okay, from here, we're going to grab that you. elbow and then putting that foot to the mat, pass the lapel, hug around the leg, and bow and arrow. Okay, and last one. I'm going to do it one more time. Would you go chicken wing first there? Maybe. I think it all depends. Like Christian's giving me a real, real funky read right now, right? But it, I think it all depends on how the person is reacting to it, right? And where they're putting their arms, right? Like I feel it right here. Like I can go from hip to hip. That's like a perfect read right into the Bravo choke, right? But once I can't get the Bravo choke right here, I'll reach up, I'll grab, I'll get to my hand, I'll go elbow or knee down, and then. I pull him over, right? And sometimes like, if you feel like he has a strong elbow here, just go in front of his face and grab that arm. And then I just put my foot to the mat, right? And then I'm gonna stay low. Like if he drops his back to the mat, then I'll just take the mouth. That's fine. But if he stays on his side, then I'll feed the lapel. Is that a different variation of the knee. Like grabbing that right arm from the underside? Say it again, Lamar. That was a different variation. Uh, uh, instead of pushing the uh, instead of pushing the elbow, you just grabbed. You just went over. With yes. The yep. I just grabbed. I just grabbed the sleeve right in front of his face. Um, I, like like Gino was saying, like uh, would I? You know, it all depends. 
uh, on the read that, or the reaction that I'm getting from my opponent, I think. Yeah, because sometimes they're going to be real stiff with their elbows there, and you're not going to have the arm lock or the back take, and you got to force it, right? And if I'm going to force it, I'm going to do it right in front of his face by, like, maybe cross-facing him, grabbing that sleeve, and, yep, you know, putting a little muscle behind it. I like that part, too, because it's, like, uh, it forces them to want to put their back on the mat. Yes. And you can mount. Yep, and, and, and you know, I'll take, I'll take whatever they give me at that point, right? Because remember where we started. We started close guard bottom. So if they give me the opportunity to come to the top, uh, I'll take mount or back or even just half guard. Like say if they scramble and they try, to, they try to concede the position, they're like, all right, fine, you got the sweep, right? I'm gonna put my back to the mat, I'm gonna put you in the guard, fine. I'll pass the half guard or I'll pass whatever. Um, um, yeah. would, that be, would that be an advantage or would that be an actual uh, for for sure, you're scoring two right there. As soon as I come up to the top and I turn that knee down, and I have that foot hooked on the hip. They're gonna score you a two point sweep right there, right? And then after that, um, it all depends on where you land, right? Or it depends on what you earn at that point. So, yep, yep. Good questions. Good questions. Any other questions, guys? What what's? No other questions. Okay. What's everyone what's everyone gonna do for the rest of their weekend? Rest of the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be training a couple of clients and then uh, I'm gonna work on getting my, my forge set up for Borgie. Nice man. Well blacksmithing, doing some blacksmithing. Nice man, nice.